Today is Monday, June 12th. I'm Terrence Friday with your digital brief. Let's take a look at the top stories of the day. Michigan is working to further protections for all. The governor signed an executive order creating the LGBTQ plus commission. The commission will address issues like health, safety and economic opportunity. It will also focus on preventing discrimination against the community and its members while addressing other forms of inequality. The commission will advise the governor and the director of the Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity. Pride is, is being yourself and supporting one another. I think it's a celebration of the culture that this community has built, which is really unique, and the hardships that they've overcome. The governor signed the order during the Motor City Parade Pride, an event that wrapped up in downtown over the weekend. And that rain didn't stop people from enjoying the fun. In fact, organizers say the turnout was larger than expected, with tens of thousands showing up. The event also spreads awareness about the rights and protections of the LGBTQ plus community. Advocates say the celebration also symbolizes freedom. The turnout was beyond expectation. It was higher than we've ever had before, which was a great feeling. We, we had um, great weather until the last hour or so. The Motor City Pride is Michigan's largest pride celebration. Clawson has a new police chief. For the first time in the city's history, a woman is taking on the role. Kelly Bosi is an 18-year veteran of the police department. She replaces Chief Scott Sarvello, who retired last year. The city of Detroit completed a year-long incinerator demolition project, imploding the smokestack on Russell Street. City officials say for 34 years, the incinerator burned millions of tons of trash, receiving hundreds of cleaner violations in the process. People living in the area say they aren't breathing a sigh of relief just yet, though. Should have been did it. If you look at these trees, it's killing the, these trees and stuff. So we don't know what we've been in hell and since we've been here, since it's killing trees. So I'm glad they did. Crews will take the rest of the summer to clear the rubble from the site. What will be built on that property, though, has not yet been decided. Let's check in with next weather meteorologist Kylie Miller. Cool, cloudy and breezy for today. Winds are going to be gusting around 20 miles per hour at times. That's going to keep our temperatures cooler, so it's going to feel like we're in the middle 60s. Highs today, upper 60s, where we should be near 80 degrees for this time of year. But instead, today is going to be quite dreary. We might end up seeing some late day sunshine. A few showers, though, will always be possible throughout the day, but I think most of us today will stay dry. Rain is likely for the overnight into tomorrow morning, extending all the way through the daylight hours. Then temperatures are going to be back Back into the 70s for the middle and end of the work week. Thursday, a chance of rain and storms. We will have mainly dry conditions this weekend, a high of 80 degrees Saturday, and temperatures will be in the upper 70s for Father's Day Sunday. Thanks, Kylie. That's going to do it for today's digital brief. For weather, news, and sports, we're covering it all for you here on CBS News Detroit. We're streaming live on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.